So in this video, we are going to learn how to generate offer letter using Google Sheets and Google Docs and share with HR team on Slack. So we are going to set up an automation in such a way that whenever the HR team shortlist a candidate and enter the details of that candidate in our Google spreadsheet, then automatically with a template which we have in Google Docs, we are going to generate the offer letter for the same candidate with the same details which we have added in Google Sheet. And after generating the offer letter using Google Docs, we are going to get the PDF file of that same newly generated offer letter from Google Drive. And after getting the PDF file, we are going to share the same PDF file, the same offer letter with our HR team on our Slack channel as well. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this kind of complete automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Google spreadsheet. And whenever our HR team shortlist a candidate, they enter the details of that shortlisted candidate in this Google spreadsheet. And using automation, we are going to automatically generate the offer letter for these candidates with all of these details. And we have the template of the offer letter in Google Docs. So when we generate the offer letter, the offer letter is saved in our Google Drive and the PDF file of the offer letter, the link of the PDF file of that offer letter is shared with the rest of the HR team on our Slack channel. Let me show you with an example. So here you can see in the Google Sheet, I have entered the details of a demo candidate. So we have all the details over here. And in this Google Sheet itself, I have added some formulas to get the correct salary calculation of the candidate. Now after that, we have selected the name and the designation of the person from the HR team whose name and designation will be entered in the offer letter. So in this template, you can see we are also mentioning the name of the person from our team who is sending this offer letter. So we have the drop down for that. Also, we have added the candidate address. And after adding all of these address on all the details, when the HR team is going to select the status of this candidate as generate over here, then as I select the status, automatically the offer letter will be generated. And as I told you, the generated offer letter will be stored in Google Drive. So we'll just go to the Google Drive. And yes, here in Google Drive, you can see the offer letter is automatically created. And this offer letter is of the same person, same candidate named as demo candidate. In this offer letter, you can see this is the same template which we have in our Google Docs. And here you can see all the variables, all the custom fields which we have added in double curly braces. All of these details are replaced by the data which we have added in Google Sheet. So here you can see we have the name of the candidate, we have the address of the candidate, we have the designation, department, and all the other details. And the PDF file of the same offer letter is shared with our HR team as well. So as you click on this link, you can see the PDF file is downloaded and this is the PDF document. So here you can see we have completely automated the process of generating offer letter. And to make this automation, we have used an automation and integration platform called Pavli Connect. So here you can see we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow between Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Drive, and Slack inside Pavli Connect. And to start creating your workflow, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. So let's say I want to name my workflow as automatically generate offer letters. So this is the name of the workflow which I'm giving. Instead of this, if you want, you can give any other name of your choice. Then just select the folder of your Pavli Connect account in which you want to create this workflow and click on create. Now, as you click on create here, you can see the workflow will be open over here. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's get started with the trigger step. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our Google spreadsheet in which we are going to enter the details of the shortlisted candidate. We are going to connect this Google sheet with Pavli Connect so that whenever a new row of data is added, whenever details of a new candidate is added, this automation workflow will trigger and Google sheet will send the data of that same candidate to Pavli Connect. Then after that, using the same Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of the candidate to Google Docs. And using the template which we have in Google Docs, we are going to enter the details of that candidate from Google Sheet in this template. And we are going to generate the offer letter over here. 
After generating the offer letter, the new offer letter will be saved in our Google Drive. So from Google Drive, we are going to change the share permission of that particular document of that offer letter and we will get the link of the PDF file as well. And at last, we are going to share the PDF file of that newly generated offer letter with our rest of the HR team on our Slack channel. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose app, we are going to search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets in Trigger Event from this dropdown, select the Trigger Event as New or Updated Spreadsheet Row. After selecting a Trigger Event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Spreadsheet with our Pavli Connect workflow. And to add this webhook URL in our Google Sheet, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just copy the webhook URL from here and go to your Google Spreadsheet. After coming to the Google Sheet, just go to Extensions, Add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. And as you click on Get Add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here in Search app, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now here you can see Pabli Connect Webhooks. This add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. After refreshing our Google Sheet, once again go to Extensions and this time you can see Pabli Connect Webhooks. This add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, this box will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us three different things. First one is Selected Sheet, second one is the Webhook URL and third one is the Trigger Column. Now here in selected sheet, you have to select that particular sheet in your Google spreadsheet from which you want to send the new candidate details. So it is most likely possible that in your Google spreadsheet, you might have created multiple sheets over here. So you have to select that particular sheet from which you want to send the details to Pabli Connect. Like right now, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So by default, we have selected sheet one. Then after that, here in Webhook URL, we have to enter the exact same Webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the Webhook URL, at last it is asking us for the trigger column. So the trigger column is going to be the last data entry column of our Google spreadsheet. It should be the last column in which we are entering some data. So here in this Google sheet, you can see the trigger column is going to be AC because this is the last column in which we are entering some data. So we are going to select AC as the trigger column. We'll go to initial setup once again. We will paste this webhook URL and we will select the trigger column as AC. After entering the webhook URL and entering the trigger column, just click on this send test button. And as we click on send test, it is showing us test data sent successfully. This means the data of the very first row after headers, the data of row number two, is sent to Pabli Connect. And here in our Pabli Connect workflow in the trigger step, you can see we have received the response. And in this response, you will see the details of that exact same candidate over here. Here you can see the same zip code, same yearly compensation CTC, which we have entered in Google Sheet. The same work shaped, you can see the same trigger column, which we have selected, total deduction, and all the other details. Like you have the details of the sender name, Gary Monroe, HR manager, what is the designation, which we have selected in Google Sheet. And after that, here you can see details of the candidate as well. Like we have the email address, then here you can see the name, and also you can see the mobile number of the candidate. This means all the details of the shortlisted candidate, which we are entering in our Google Sheet, are now received inside Pavli Connect. Then after that, get back to your Google Sheet and click on the Submit button. And as we click on Submit, it is showing us that the setup is configured successfully. Now just close this tab. Once again, we'll go to Extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks, and click on this Send On Event button. By selecting Send On Event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add-on, that whenever data in a new row is added till our trigger column, then immediately, instantly send the details of that newly added data to Pabli Connect. So here the step one of setting up this automation is completed, where we have successfully connected our Google spreadsheet in the trigger step of our Pabli Connect workflow and received the response, received the details of the candidate which we had in our Google Sheet. Now after setting up this first step, we will move to second step. Now here in the Google Sheet, you can see in the last column, we have the column of status. Now we want that if the status of this candidate is generated, if we select the status as generate, 
only in that case only in that condition we want to generate the document we want to generate the offer letter and if we have the status of this candidate as on hold save or send like if we have any status other than generate in that case using this automation we don't want to generate the offer letters so what we have to do we are going to add a filter condition in our automation workflow now to set up this kind of condition we are going to use a feature a module of pavli connect called filter so we will just scroll down and come to this action step and here in choose app we will just search for filter or select filter from here after selecting filter by pavli in action event from this drop down select the action event as filter values then just click on connect after clicking on connect the first thing it asks us is to select the label that on which particular label on which particular response we want to set up the filter condition now here in the responses which we have received in google sheet in these responses we have received the response of the status that what status of this particular candidate we have selected in our google sheet so we are going to select status as a label on this particular label on this particular response we are going to set up the filter condition and the filter condition will be like if we get the status as generate only in that case this automation workflow should be continued further so we will just scroll down come to this filter step and here under select label in this drop down you can see a list of all the responses all the details which we have received from google sheets in the trigger step so out of all of these responses select the response of status over here in select label then after that here in filter type we are going to select the filter type as equals to and in value we are going to enter generate over here so we have created this filter condition that if we get the status equals to generate if we get the response of status as generate only in that case the automation workflow will be continued further if we get any other status other than this then this automation workflow will not continue further and using this automation we are not going to generate the offer letter after setting up this filter condition just click on save and send test request and as we click on save and send test request here you can see it is showing us that the condition is true because in the trigger response we have received the status as generated that's why it is showing us the condition is true over here this means this filter step is working perfectly fine after setting up our filter condition we will move to the next step where we want to send all of these details which we have entered in our google sheet to google docs so that the template of the offer letter which we have in google doc using this template we can generate the offer letter now here in this template you will see i have added some variables like here we have the variable for current date in double quotes then we have candidate name address candidate designation department and a lot more now all the text in place of these variables are dynamic text this means for each and every offer letter we'll generate these details these text will be changing so what we have to do we will be basically replacing all of these variables all of these dynamic text which we have written in double quotes with the details of the candidate which we have added in google sheet and this is going to happen in our pavli connect workflow so we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here and then here in choose app search for google docs just select it after selecting google docs in action event from this drop down select the action event as create document from template after selecting the action event just click on connect and select add new connection now here we have to connect our google docs account with pavli connect and to make this connection just click on this sign in with google button select your google docs account in which you have created your template of the offer letter then just scroll down and click on allow and as we click on allow we will see our google docs account will get connected with pavli connect after making this connection the first thing it asks us is the template document and here in this drop down you can see a list of all the documents which we have created in our google docs account now out of all of this offer letter template this is the template using which i want to generate the document this is the particular template using which we want to generate the offer letters so here from this drop down i am going to select that template over here after selecting the template document it is asking us for the new document's name that the new document the new offer letter which we are generating what will be the name of these new documents so let's say i want the name of my new document new offer letter as the name of the candidate and after that i want to write offer letter so we have received the name of the candidate the details of the name of the candidate in the trigger response from google sheet so here you can see in google sheet responses we have the response of candidate name 
Now we are going to map this response of candidate knee from the trigger step from Google Sheet responses to this Google Docs action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Just click on this field of new document knee and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from previous step. Now to insert the response of the name of the candidate, we will just click on this spreadsheet, Google Sheet. And then here from this drop down, select the response of candidate name and it will be mapped over here. So whatever candidate name we are going to enter in our Google Sheet, the same detail, the same name will be received inside Pavli Connect in the trigger step. And using this automation, we are going to send the same name to Google Doc as well. After mapping the candidate name, I want to add a hyphen and then I want to write offer letter. So we will be having the file name as the candidate name and then after a hyphen offer letter. If you want, you can basically give any detail, any information of your choice in the new document name over here. Then after naming the document, it is asking us new documents location that the new document, new offer letter, which we are going to generate using this automation on which particular folder of our Google Drive that document will be saved. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the folders I have in my Google Drive account. Out of all of this, I have created this folder named as offer letter. Now the generated document will be saved in the same Google Doc account, but in the Google Drive of that same account. So if we have this folder offer letters in which we want to save the generated document, generated offer letter. So from the drop down, we are going to select that particular folder of our Google Drive. After selecting the folder, here you can see all the variables, all the dynamic text which we have added in double curly braces in our template document. You can see all of those variables as fields inside Pavli Connect. Now by replacing these variables, these dynamic text in our document, in our template document, what is the text? What is the detail we want to add in place of these? We have to enter these details. We have to map these details in these fields. Like for example, in place of current date, I want to enter today's date over here. So we have received the current date from Google spreadsheet and we have received the response of Google spreadsheet inside our public connect workflow in the trigger step. So from Google sheet responses, we are going to map the response of current date. Just click here and in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from Google Sheet. Out of all of these responses, I'm going to search for the response of date and select the response of current date and map it. So whatever current date we are going to have in our Google Sheet, the same date will be received inside Pavli Connect and we are going to send the same date to Google Docs to generate the document to enter the same date in place of current date in our offer letter. In this way, all the variables, all the dynamic text which we have added over here, we are going to basically enter or map the details of all of these variables. So here you can see the next variable which we have is of candidate name. So here in our public connect workflow, you can see this field of candidate name. And in place of this, we have to mention the name of the candidate over here. So we are going to select the response of candidate name from Google Sheet responses and map it over here. Then let's map the address. So instead of scrolling, you can just search over here. Like I'll search for address, candidate address and map it. Then I'll just search for city and map it over here. Then I'm going to search for state. Just select the response of state and map it and this zip code as well. In this way, one by one, you can see you can map all of these details. So let me map all of these details at once. So here you can see we have mapped the details in each and every field. So whatever details of the shortlisted candidate we have received from Google spreadsheet, one by one we have mapped all of the details into the respective fields of our Google Docs. After mapping all the details, just click on this save and send test request button. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we are going to receive some response over here and the response is received. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details which we have mapped over here, all of this data is added in the template which we have created in Google Docs. And with this template and the data from our Google Sheet, a new offer letter is generated. And the generated offer letter is saved in the particular folder which we have selected over here. So let's check it. We will go to the same Google Drive folder which we have selected. And yes, here you can see in the same folder, a new document is created. The name of this document is demo candidate hyphen of a letter, the same document name which we have given over here in the Google Docs action step. And here when we will open this document, you can see this is the offer letter with the same details of the candidate which we have entered in the Google Sheet. 
you can see the same date you can see the same name of the candidate you can see the address designation department joining date reporting manager you may have the same sheet also we have the same salary breakdown salary related details which we have entered in google sheet and after scrolling down you can see the same person of the hr team the same team members of the hr team which we have selected with their designation the same person's details same team members details are added in this document as well this means that we have successfully created a document or offer letter with the template which we had in our google docs so this step of our automation workflow is also successfully created. But now when we create this automation, when we create this document using this automation, you will notice that the share permission of this document is private to only me. Now to share this document with our team members on Slack, the PDF file of this offer letter with our team members on Slack, we have to change the share permission over here. And because this document is stored in our Google Drive, in the next step of our automation workflow, we are going to select Google Drive. Just click on this Add Action Step button and here in Choose Zap, search for Google Drive. Just select it. After selecting Google Drive, an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as Share a file with anyone. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now we have to connect our Google Drive account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this Sign In with Google button. Then just select your Google Drive account. After that, just scroll down and click on Allow. And as we click on Allow, we will see our Google Drive account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, here it is asking us for the file ID. Now here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the files which we have in our Google Drive account. Out of all of this, the sheer permission of which particular file we want to change using this action step. So in this automation, in the third step, in the Google Docs step, we are going to generate a new document for each and every candidate. This means the file whose share permission we want to change, it will be a dynamic file. For every execution, we want to change the share permission of a new file. And after generating the document using Google Docs in the response, here you can see we have received this document ID. So what we have to do, we have to map this response of document ID from Google Docs action step to this Google Drive action step. And to map the document ID in this file ID field, just turn on this mapping button in front of it and clear this default response. After clearing the default response, we have to map the document ID from Google Docs action step. So for that, just click here and from the drop down from Google Doc responses, select the response of document ID and map it. In this way, whatever document, whatever offer letter or whatever document ID will have in the third step, we are going to change the share permission of the same document. After mapping the document ID, just click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And the share permission of this particular document of this particular offer letter is now changed. So we will open this document and here you can see earlier the share permission was private to only me. But now we have the share permission as anyone with the link. And also in this response of Google Drive, you can see we have received this response of export link application slash PDF. And this is the link of the PDF file of the same document over here. We will just copy the link and paste it in a new tab. And here you can see a PDF file is downloaded. I will just open this PDF file. And here you can see this is the exact same offer letter with the same candidates detail, which we have entered in Google Sheet. So we have successfully downloaded the PDF file. We have the PDF file of the offer letter as well. Now let's move to the last step where we want to share this same PDF file of the offer letter with our rest of the HR department, with our rest of the team members on Slack. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And here in choose app, we are going to search for Slack. Just select it. After selecting Slack, an action event from this dropdown, select the action event as send channel message. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Slack account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Slack button. After clicking on connect in this pop-up box, it is asking us the token type. So while connecting Slack with Pavli Connect, we have two different types of token. First one is a user-based token and second one is a bot-based token. Now what is the difference between a user-based token and a bot-based token? Here in the help text, you can see this hyperlink. Just click on this link and it will take you to the page on our forum. 
And at this page, you will see a complete difference between a user-based connection and a bot-based connection between Slack and Public Connect. So you can refer to this particular page and you can select the type of connection which you want to set up. Right now, I want to set up a bot-based connection. So I'm selecting, I'm entering bot over here and then just click on save. As you click on save, because I have already logged into my Slack account in my browser, Public Connect will detect the same account. Just scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Slack account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks is, is the channel. That on our Slack channel, we might have multiple channels. Now out of all of these, on which particular channel we want to send this message, we want to share the document. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the channels which we have in Slack. And from this drop down, we have to select the channel on which we want to send this message. After selecting the channel, it is asking us for the message that what is the actual message we want to send. So let's say I want to send the message as Hello team, we have generated a new offer letter, candidate name, email and offer letter link. So this is the kind of a simple message I want to send on my Slack channel to update my team members. So we are going to mention the name of the candidate. So for that from Google Sheet responses, we are going to search for the response of candidate name and map it. And after that, we are going to map the response of candidate email as well. So I'll just search for candidate email and then map it over here. And then using Google Drive, we have received the PDF file of the offer letter as well. We are going to select the response of application slash PDF and we are going to map this link over here. And in this way, you can basically create any message of your choice. Right now, I have just created a simple message, but if you want, you can mention some other details or draft any message of your choice and map the link of the PDF file of the offer letter as well. After creating the message, it is asking us image URL and image alt text. So using the same action, if you want, you can send some images on your Slack channel as well. But right now we don't want to send any images, so we can just ignore these fields for now. Then it is asking us bot name and bot icon. So because we have connected or we have made a bot based connection between Slack and Public Connect, what we can do, we can basically change the name of the bot who is going to send the message on our Slack channel. Let's say I want to name my bot as offer letter bot. You can basically give any other name of your choice and the logo, the icon of the bot can also be changed. It can also be customized. You just have to enter the URL, the link of the image, which you want to set up as the bot icon. Right now, I just don't want to change the bot icon. So you can just ignore this field for now. Then it is asking us auto expand links, link username and channel name, reply broadcast and thread message ID. So all of these fields are not mandatory, are not required. So if you want, you can just ignore these fields for now and then just click on this save and send test request button. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here, this message is now sent on this particular Slack channel. So let's check it. We will go to a Slack channel and yes, here you can see with the same bot name of a letter bot which we have given in our public connect workflow, a message is sent. And the message is, hello team, we have generated a new offer letter. And in this message here, you can see we have the name of the candidate which we had in Google spreadsheet. Then after that here, you can see we have the candidate email address. And also we have the offer letter, the link of the offer letter. Whenever my team member will click on this link, the PDF file of the generated offer letter will be downloaded over here. Here you can see the PDF file of the same offer letter is downloaded. So in this way, you can see we have successfully created this automation using which just by adding the candidate details in our Google spreadsheet, you can automatically generate an offer letter and automatically share the PDF file of that offer letter with your team members on Slack channel. Now, after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. Here, I'm going to enter the details of a new candidate. So here, let's say the name of the candidate is test user. This is the name of the candidate. For example, this is the email address of this candidate, which we are going to enter. The pin code is this, for example, some dummy pin code. And right now, here comes the most important column of status. So what we are going to do, we will just enter the status over here in this particular field. 
And because we have added a filter condition in our automation workflow that the status of this candidate should be generated. If the status is generated, only in that case, the offer letter will be generated and shared on our Slack channel. So just for an example, just to test this automation, I'll select the status as save. So we have basically entered the details of a new candidate, but the status over here is save. Now you will see because the status is not generate in our public connect workflow, we will go to the history section and here in history section, you can see we have received the response. We have received the details of the same candidate. So here you can see we have the details of the test candidate over here. Here you can see the candidate name test user, but because the filter condition is not fulfilled, we don't have the status as generate using this automation. The offer letter is not generated and shared on our Slack channel. Now let's say after save, I'll update the status over here to generate. Now as I select generate, this automation workflow will trigger once again, but this time using this automation, we are going to generate the offer letter. The generated offer letter will be saved in our Google Drive. So we will just refresh our Google Drive once. And yes, here you can see for test user, an offer letter is generated over here. And in this offer letter, you can see the same details of the person which we have added in our Google spreadsheet. You can see the same CTC, same salary calculation and rest of the things. And that HR details are the same, Michael Karas, HR associate. And the PDF file of the same offer letter is shared on our Slack channel. And yes, here on our Slack channel, you can see we have a new message. Hello team, we have generated a new offer letter. We have the name of the candidate, email address and the link of the PDF file. As we click on this link, you can see the PDF file is downloaded, we'll open it and we have the PDF document for the same offer letter over here. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Public Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Public Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow and the exact same Google spreadsheet which I have used in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this same workflow into your own Public Connect account and start using this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at the rate or post it on our forum over here or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Public Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.